Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always, told out of voice radio. So today, we're going to be taking a look at the new McDonald's Pokemon promotion. Once again, Pokemon toys have made their way over to McDonald's. Once again, every toy is being packaged with a promotional Pokemon trading card game card. Which makes me rather happy indeed. Now, of course, last year... This was huge news. And the reason it was such huge news is they actually reprinted the Eevee that had energy evolution, which was due to rotate out. Because of that, they actually changed up the rotation a bit, did things differently to how they usually do to make sure that that Eevee rotated out. Because the McDonald's version was actually going to keep it in the format. It was a huge deal. And it did actually lead to one of my more popular videos. Hey ho! So, with all that born in mind, we can have a look at this year's promotion. And is it actually as good? Well, it's not as relevant in terms of keeping an amazing card in competitive play, but it's still kind of cool. Now, what you're actually getting toy wise is some of these little battlers as Pikachu, Eevee, Lapras, Alolan, Sandshrew, Alolan Executor, Caterpie, Magma, and Onyx. And what is cool, although there are a couple of other Pokemon in the promotion, all the Pokemon that you're getting these little battle discs for, or whatever you want to call them, are actually being featured in the cards you can get as well. So there is a nice little bit of symmetry going on there. It's cool. Is it as big as the nice chunky models we've had in the past? Probably not for your average kid. Your average kid is probably going to want a big chunky Pokemon model more than they're going to want a little disc and a Pokeball. And I am personally slightly disappointed. If you look at the Pokeballs there, they're not Pokeballs. Like there is an actual Pokeball you get with Pikachu, and then they've just changed the colours round. Well, the actual Pokeballs don't change the colours round. They have different designs. So, um, yeah. I'm a little bit upset if I'm honest with you. I mean, if we look at something like Great Ball, for instance, Great Ball has a different design. If we look at something like Quick Ball, Quick Ball has a different design. So, not not loving that they're literally just changing the colour on the top of the Pokeball, because that's not how Pokeballs work. But hey-ho, I digress. So, of course, with this being a channel primarily focused on the Pokemon trading card game, we should probably focus primarily on the Pokemon trading cards that you can get. And there are actually a couple here that are genuinely good, genuinely relevant, and genuinely could and do and have seen play. Now, probably the best of the bunch is the Alolan Executor from Forbidden Light. Now, this for one Grass Energy does 20 damage... And then does 20 more for each type of basic energy in your discard pile, up to a maximum 100 extra, 120 in total. Now this came out in Forbidden Light, it did actually get a reprint, all but, as a dragon type, in Team Up. So you can actually play it as a grass Pokemon or as a dragon Pokemon. And let's not forget that we've got the Shuckle from Lost Thunder, that when you play it down onto the bench, it allows you to discard free basic energy cards from your deck so that you can just build up a lot of different types in the discard nice and quickly. Or you can use stuff like Energy Spinner or Lady to actually get the energy into your hand and then use stuff like Zeb Striker, for instance, to go ahead and discard it once it's all in your hand. Either way, it's a genuinely decent card. It's not a game-breaking card, but it's a fun little rogue deck. It's one that's seen a fair bit of play here and there, and it's one that people are actually using. So I, for one, am rather happy indeed that we're getting it here. I like the idea that you can get yourself a genuinely nice, playable card by going and buying a Happy Meal in McDonald's. Now, as a quick side note, as it stands at the moment, these are only coming to the US. But these promotions tend to go around. So it's currently October, we're not getting them in the UK now. But early next year, these will come out in the UK just like they do every year. So that's rather okay by me. The other one of these that really stands out as an, ooh, that's a genuinely good card, is the Alolan Dug Trio, which was originally printed in Ultra Prism. 
for zero energy, you get to discard any number of metal energy cards from your hand and then do 30 damage for each card that you discarded in this way. So what you have here is a very small Pokemon. It's only 60 HP, though that will help more on that in a moment. And then what you do is you just try and get as much metal energy in your hand as you can and then just smash it all down onto the field to do a huge amount of damage. And we've got Fisherman, which allows us to pick up four energy. And with it being metal energy we're looking for, we can use Mount Coronet here, which lets you pick up two metal energy from your discard and put them straight into your hand. Then, of course, it's a 60 HP Pokemon, so we've got Professor Elm's Lecture, which will search for it as well as your basic, which gives you a lot of added consistency. And again, we've got a really nice rogue deck. I'm not going to pretend to you that Alolan Executor and Alolan Dug Trio are game-breaking, amazing cards, but I am happy to tell you that they're kind of fun, they're kind of cool, and they do see a fair amount of play. But make no mistake, those are very much the two stars as far as this is concerned. Because the others tend to be fairly uninspiring, or at the worst, downright annoying. So if we look at something like the Alolan Meowth from Lost Thunder, we like Alolan Meowth, it's a cool little card, and it can attack for zero energy. And if you go second, you do 70 damage. Now to be fair, going second, doing 70 damage turn one, I really like. And maybe I was a little bit harsh, I do think this Alolan Meowth is awesome. I've played around with it quite a bit. I've teched it into decks quite a bit. The problem is we have a new Alolan Meowth that I like a little bit more. Now, it is actually the Alolan Meowth which is coming in Cosmic Eclipse. And it's got a lovely ability whereby you may once per turn discard a Wait and See Hammer from your hand and draw two cards. So it gives you a nice excuse to play Wait and See Hammer, which only works on your first turn going second. Automatic energy discard from your opponent, which is great, but only works on your first turn going second. But now if you draw into it, you can just discard of Alola Meow to draw two cards, and that's kind of lovely. Far less lovely is the Pikachu. Now this Pikachu originally came out in Shining Legends, and it's great and all, but it doesn't have Nuzzle. And we have a 60 HP Pikachu which has Nuzzle and can be searched out with Professor Elm's Lecture. And then in Cosmic Eclipse we're getting a 70 HP Pikachu with Nuzzle which can't be searched out with Professor Elm's but does have a bit more bulk. So I'm not sure why you would ever play this Pikachu. The answer is of course that, that, that you wouldn't. Which is a little bit sad. Similarly we are getting an Eevee here, the one from Ultra Prism. Which, which is fine. But we got a new Eevee coming soon, I believe in Cosmic Eclipse, which lets you search for as many Eevee and Eevee GX as you like and put them straight onto your bench, which is significantly better. So you just end up in this really awkward situation where you're going, well, you know what? I, I've got other Pokemon I'd rather play here, and that's a little bit sad. We've also got the Ghastly, which came out in Crimson Invasion, which is fine, except we've actually got the Ghastly that came out in Unbroken Bonds, whereby when it's knocked out, you get to search your deck for two Haunter, put them directly onto your bench, which is really, really good and phenomenal in any kind of Gengar deck that you might be playing. So there's no reason to play this new Ghastly. Similarly, we are getting the Onyx, which originally came around in Celestial Storm, which is fine and all that. But we got the Onyx from Lost Thunder that can get a one-hit KO on a Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Team GX for four colorless energy. And being colorless means it can fit into any deck, and that's a fun little tech. So there's a good chance you want to be playing that. And then, of course, we've got the Lapras from Dragon Majesty, which is a fine little card. But the problem is... We'd much, much rather have the Lapras from Unified Mind than let you search for a Misty's Favor once during your turn. So an awful lot of these cards are just fine, but they are not as good as other versions of the same Pokemon that we've got. Now to finish off with the last few cards, we've got the Magma, which originally came out in Ultra Prism. Uh, free energy, 80 damage, discard an energy. Neither Magmar nor Magmortar really sees much play at the moment. 
And Alolan Sand True that for zero energy lets you flip three coins and does 10 damage for each head. The upcoming Alolan Sand Slash GX is actually quite nice. And this might be the best Alolan Sand True, so I can see. I can see the point of showing a little bit of love for this here. We've got the Mankey that originally came out in Crimson Invasion, which is fine, but has actually rotated, because Crimson Invasion has rotated. And then we've got the Caterpie that originally came out in Burning Shadows, 20 damage for 1 energy, but you've got to flip heads. If you flip tails, you end up doing nothing. Not an absolutely stonking powerhouse lineup of cards, but certainly some fun little ones that we can be going along with, and there are a couple here that I like very much indeed. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the new Pokemon promotion. Which of the cards are good? Which ones you should be looking out for? But I'd like to know from you guys. Have you gone to McDonald's yet? Have you managed to get any of these? Are you planning on going? Which ones would you like? Etc. Go nuts in the comment section. But please do remember the rule. Be nice, would you? And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that and please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash wassy plays where we talk about a whole bunch of games that don't even have any pokemon in but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time would you thank you very much for watching my name is ross and you've been watching ptcg radio